Hello guys, this is Clockwise and today I'm going to show you how to play Devil May Cry 4 Special Edition with any controller that you're using whether it's an Xbox 360 controller or a PS4 controller or a PS3 controller or any joystick that you're using for your PC it will work with every controller alright first of all you need to go to xbox360ce.com which is a Xbox 360 controller emulator and download the 32-bit version since the game is 32-bit so it will work with the 32-bit version of Xbox 360 controller emulator go ahead and click on download for 32-bit games once the file is downloaded open it and extract it to the game folder where your game is downloaded the game directory extract it there okay after extracting it you need to download another file which is d input 8 it's a dll file you need to download it as well and extract it to the game directory okay after extracting both files go to the game folder and right click on x360 ce run as administrator okay it will ask you to create the x input 1 slash 3 dot dll just do it and connect your controller to the computer okay i have connected my controller to the computer and it's det uh, it has detected my controller just click on next make sure you are connected to the internet it will detect your game too and the controller as well just follow the steps click on next and finish game ok my controller is working here it shows the buttons that I am pressing now go to the game settings it's here and select Dell Cry 4 special edition check the com box check all 32 bit x input files 1 2 3 4 5 and under d input file check this box too 32 bit okay you need to check all the 32 bit boxes and the com box now go to the options and under operation allow only one copy of application at a time okay check this too under testing and logging check x uh, enable x input use net beep and exclude supplemental devices enable combining okay there are uh, one two three four five five boxes you need to check and make sure on the internet these both boxes are uh, checked okay go to game settings again save and then exit run the game make sure you, your controller is connected to default. 